Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we are doing a girl talk, get ready with me. So today's topic was actually brought to me by one of you guys and it's honestly something I can't believe I haven't talked about, like fully sat down and talked about the pros and the cons from quitting my full-time job into becoming a full-time YouTuber for the past two years. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and dive in. I already have my skincare done. While I do my base, a little backstory, I started my YouTube in 2010, I wanna say. But before I even started my YouTube channel, in 2008 is when I, um, the summer of 2008 is when I found YouTube and what YouTube was and the video I was searching was how to tie a muffler scarf. If that doesn't date me, I don't know what will. But anyway, that's how I found YouTube and I found this sense of community that I had never experienced before because I grew up in a really small town and after high school I decided I wanna get out and I moved to Florida. That's my story with how I started YouTube. But recently, within the last two years, I actually quit my full-time job and dedicated it completely to YouTube, which I had never done in the past. I had always had a job or school or something else and never completely committed to YouTube. So I left my job and uh, on a Sunday, I quit my job or on a Saturday. On a Saturday, I quit my job and on a Tuesday, my mother passed away. So I felt like this has been a decision that has really changed me as a person. So we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about the pros, the cons, everything you wanna know about it. Maybe you're curious to start a channel. Maybe you just are curious to see what it's like. So let's talk about pros first and then we'll move into the cons. So the first pro is number one, you guys, the community that we've built here. I cannot, imagine at this point in my life my my life without you guys like I literally can't I feel like the support that I receive from you guys the just the fact that you take the time out of your day to like say something nice or give a suggestion or anything like that is just like blows me away sometimes it really does because you don't have to do that and I feel just so like yeah, all I can say is blessed because I feel like I had no idea that I could make such a deep connection with people that I've never even met in real life. And you can't, and it's really freaking cool. The second part of a huge pro is I absolutely love what I do. I've worked in retail um, most of my life, most of fashion, um, mostly fashion retail, but I had worked for retail, makeup, clothing, all of that for my whole life, ever since I was 16, it was my first job. This is a platform where I can talk about my true passion and love of it while connecting with you guys. So that's really awesome. Right, so reason number three, a huge pro of working um, as a YouTuber is being able to work with brands that I already know and absolutely love. The next reason I absolutely love being a full-time YouTuber versus being full-time in a traditional job is the flexibility that this job offers me. Um, I'm able to do things at the drop of a hat if, let's say, Arlo needs to be picked up or um, Miss Winnie had a vet appointment yesterday. I'm able to kind of be really flexible with that. I loved that ability when my mom had a super flexible job and I think I will appreciate it even more in the future um, when Arlo continues to grow up. I think that having that flexibility and um, at least one person has that in your life, I think that is an amazing um, pro to this job without a doubt. And then another pro that I absolutely love about this this job specifically is the balance that it's brought in my life. I will say I tend to be a very high stressed person, I tend to have a lot of stress no matter what um, in my life. So I feel as though this job has given me a bit more peace of mind to kind of handle that stress and deal with that stress a bit more. And all my decisions really are my own. I have no one else to be responsible for, which I was a manager before, so I had a lot of people. When I worked for Sephora, I actually at one time had over 100 people underneath me reporting directly to me. So talk about stress, that was a lot. Um, and I am a very, very hardcore empath, so I feel 
what other people feel like I put myself in that situation and feel for them so it becomes a little overwhelming at times all right so those are some of the basics the pros being able to be flexible with my job having more balance less stress and of course the most important is being able to build this community with you guys and feeling truly connected so I absolutely love that part now let's move on to the not so fun parts about being a full-time youtuber so the number one hardest part about being a youtuber we're gonna start off with it strong okay and that is people constantly judging and criticizing just about every move that I make and their response is well you put yourself out there so you deserve it and I have a really hard time dealing with that and back when I first started I really didn't have any hate I feel like people used YouTube as truly connections and friends and now I feel like it's changed a bit and people are very very quick to tell you their opinion even if you didn't ask for it and I'm just constantly criticized and it leads to a bigger problem which is self-doubt I think we all as humans struggle with self-doubt and I think sometimes people forget that I am an actual human behind the computer screen that you're typing away on or your phone or whatever and it hurts um, and I don't understand the justification for for doing that to anybody in life if you you know don't feel like you resonate or you feel as though you know you want to say something mean you you simply can just stop watching and it's as it's as simple as that um i think there's enough things in life that we aren't we don't have control over and i think that this is something that you have control over and you can stop consuming this content if it's no longer resonating with you so i know that statement where it says more about them than it says about you but it's still really hard to wrap my brain around sometimes why people feel the need to rip others down or or criticize them and judge them in ways that like aren't necessary um that's definitely the hardest part and i don't know if it ever really gets easier and it's why i kind of don't show every aspect of my life because at the end of the day I am I don't wake up and be like who am I going to make mad today and I'm never a malicious person and I don't ever push my views on other people I simply am sharing my life and my experiences and nowhere in anyone's life are you ever perfect at everything and it's that's just part of life you might have more kids than I do but I will remind you humbly that you were once a new mom who was figuring it all out as well you were once a 30 year old girl who was moving to a new place and figuring it out as well you didn't grow up just knowing everything and no one did so I think we need to remember that before we say anything and I'm not saying that you can't comment and give opinions or anything like that it, to, you're totally allowed to but I think that there's a way that you can say every I'd say that's like the hardest biggest part is um receiving comments that are not not helpful um I really want to encourage you in your in your life not just the internet world to really think about what your um what your intentions are when you say something are you intentionally trying to hurt that person then you're probably projecting your problems and securities whatever onto someone else but I think there's just so many decisions that we can make in life as humans there's not one right answer to everything when it comes to being a human a mother a significant other anything like that there's not one right way yet people act like there is and that their way is the best way and I think that's definitely the hardest part I get hate every single day for sending my child's to school when in reality I think that's the best choice for him he is someone who thrives on constant um, activity and constant stimulation for his brain to grow and develop and that is the right decision that we've made as our family and I think that your decision that you make if you are a stay-at-home mom and, and do all of that at home is not a wrong decision either and I would never judge anyone for that every decision and every family dynamic is so different and you have to do what is right for you but it is hard having somebody tell you that your decision is wrong um, and I deal with that on a daily basis so that is number one the hardest 
thing and that leads to the number two which is it's draining sometimes it's draining to feel like you're doing everything wrong and it's draining to constantly come up with content and and continue to grow and continue to you know connect with people that can be kind of draining sometimes um and especially since I do post on average around five videos a week between this channel and my other channel, <laughs> it's draining. Like any job that you love or any activity that you love can be draining at times. It's it's more rewarding, but it is draining at times. The next um, really big con is it's hard to turn off at times. Since I'm constantly either filming sit down videos or filming vlogs and then editing them all, um, it can be hard to stop. And sometimes I will find myself working as soon as Arlo goes to bed until like nine, 10 o'clock at night. And I will notice that, you know, obviously that hurts other relationships in my life. And I have to make sure that I'm understanding that all of this can wait and that it's okay if the video doesn't go exactly live at a specific time and and no one's sitting on the other end of the computer being like where where are you where why haven't you uploaded a video so i think that's a hard thing is like knowing when to turn off because um that can be really hard and that is the number one reason why i do not start any other platform to go with my youtube i know how much of a benefit it would be if I had an Instagram to kind of play off both and I could make so much more and all of that, but it would just lead me to be on even more. And the benefit and the reason why I love this so much is that I have that flexibility. And yes, turning off is hard just with one, so I can't even imagine how turning off would be with multiple. So that is definitely a struggle that I constantly make that work-life balance with turning off and shutting off at the end of the night and enjoying those moments instead of trying to capture all of those moments, which is why you don't see a lot of my family time because I cherish it because I send my kid to school on the weekends so my or weekdays, so my weekends and my weeknights are huge and so important to me that I completely unplug and I'm just present in that time. Um, and that's, that's what works best for me and my family. So the next con is there there's no one else besides me i do it all and some people don't think that it's a lot <laughs> i get it i used to think it wasn't a lot either um but it truly is a job where you get out what you put into it so you can make it as much as you or as little as you want um but it's a lot and i would say that leads me to another one of my probably my second biggest con with this job is people not thinking that it's a job. I think this really does hurt my ego a little bit when people are like, oh, so how's your little thing going or this or that? And it's just like, you mean my, um, my job that I spend multiple hours of my day on that I provide 50% of the income that comes into our house? Yeah, it's going well. <laughs> like people just don't see it as what it is. And in reality, um, I follow some girl on Instagram who talks about if this was a male dominated industry, how it would be, you would be called an entrepreneur, not an influencer. Um, and it's, it's very true. Um, this, this industry is dominated mostly by, um, by women. And I think that's why it's kind of looked at as like, oh, it's not a viable business situation and whatnot well i've been doing it for 12 years and it's been, it's been okay for me um and i'm happy and like i said it provides income to my family uh the bills are split in this household we you know we both come to the table with that and if it wasn't i would not be doing it i am not supported um by my spouse by any means this is a legitimate job and business and it is if you treat it like it is but some people don't know how to wrap their brain around it and can kind of talk down about it and i think it is also how i look at it as well because it is so different it is so new it's really hard to explain to people what it is and it's not just filming content it's affiliate marketing it's so much more than it ever used to be and has changed so much within the 12 years from when i started so yes um this the another con that it is is that i have no one else i have no one to help me with things so i am my makeup artist i am i have to make sure my nails always look nice um when I'm filming videos like so I have to take the, all that different time like my makeup my hair my skin all of those things that 
um, you know, when you're shooting a commercial, technically, which is what brands, you know, are, are paying you for, um, you, they have all of that. They have a makeup artist. They have somebody who feeds you. They have all of that. Um, they have a set so you don't have to messy up your own house. Like, I am everything. So that can, um, I think, goes into a lot of that. And it's something that people don't realize. And some brands don't even realize that. A lot of brands do, honestly. But some brands are like, okay, I'll give you this free product and you have to post 10 YouTube videos about it and um like sell your firstborn child and i'm i'm giving you and you should be honored to work with me and it's like no i have a space i have to do my own makeup i have to um film the content go through hours of footage i have to meet the guidelines that you've set all of those things and to be honest some you know some brands just don't understand what goes into it or they just don't want to pay for it. They think that, um, you know, marketing like affiliate marketing or uh, promoting on YouTube, it should be less expensive. And it, it is, but I mean, think of the marketing industry. You don't, you know, it's a vast world and I think people are still trying to figure it out and know their worth, um, which is kind of hard for sure and it's been a struggle for me probably one of my biggest struggles over the last two years is knowing what my worth is and really breaking it down and thinking about it um and that just took time and in partnerships with other brands that you know worked with me and accepted rates and you don't get what you don't ask for um, but you also have to put in the work and you have to make sure that it's good quality work and also brands that fit what what i'm talking about and that i honestly loved you do not know how many brands i turned down after i've received their products and or signed a contract and it didn't it was not a good fit it would not it's not good or how many emails i received from brands that you know i could probably make a whole lot more money but at the end of the day without you guys which is my number one pro i have nothing if i don't have your trust if i don't have something what am i what am i here for you know what i mean so um it's easy to blow up and make a ton of money but it's also really nice to have your integrity and not lose that which is why i quit my previous job because i felt morally that it did not match what i wanted in life so yeah those are the pros and cons that's everything that i feel like i've really assessed from the past two years of being a full-time youtuber from going from my full-time retail job basically my entire life to investing in this brand and who i am building my community to something that i really didn't even know could happen and now i can never imagine my life without you guys but if things were to change i'm flexible and, and definitely would go back to um a normal regular job but as of right now i have thoroughly enjoyed what I have done over the past two years and at this moment I do not see myself stopping at any point in the near future um and I'm just really happy to have you guys in my life because you're a huge part of my life you're my everyday I sit in front of a camera and talk to you guys every single day so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video maybe found a little bit of insight and if anything there are a ton of pros and cons to every decision you make in life. Uh, you have to figure out what works best for you, what you're able to work through and what you're not. And um, I have felt in so many, so many different emotions on this roller coaster of sharing my life on the internet because I've been doing it for over 10 years now. Um, but at the end of the day, I feel as though it's still a really good fit for me and I'm so blessed and happy that I have you guys and support me and I don't plan on um, ever like I don't plan on ever going away and I know that um, I'm here to stay so I love you guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and support me like you guys have over the past two years it means more to me than you will ever know and it's sponsors like Kenzie products that I already love use and swear by their results i know you're gonna love that make this possible for me to continue um my journey on this channel and providing videos and content for you guys so thank you again for watching i love you all so much and i'll see you all in my next video Bye.